Alright. Now my small army. Cook for me. Long or Dragon Eyes is one of tropical fruit. Soap berry families such as lychee and rambutan. Rambutan? Ram... Rambutan. I haven't had one of those. One of my kids... One of my kids... Uh, we have this book... Ooh, let me cook the thing. I didn't get the thing. There, there's a sunset drink. What was it called? Sunset something. And it's freaking out over there. I was hoping I'd get it. Did I get it? Nope, matcha berry smoothie. Uh, my kids have this book, and it's just, it's like a thousand things to eat, and it's just pictures of foods and ingredients, and you know, there'll be like a page of fruit, and it'll have like a hundred different kinds of fruit, and I bet they're all in there, like lychee's uh, rambutan. Now the soap berry, that sounds Greek to me. Like, I can't imagine they taste like soap. Why would they call them soap berry? Do they work as soap? Do they work good in soap? Real aromatic things? I've heard Logan berries, that's a thing. And Lincoln berries. Uh, there's a berry up where I live, or where I grew up, called a huckleberry. And amazingly, like, nobody's ever heard of that. But huckleberries are amazing. Like, they're just. They're like smaller, sweeter blueberries. And they are really sweet, and they make great syrup. I, I, I would kill for some, like, huckleberry pancakes right about now. Some good buttermilk pancakes. Man, we might be having breakfast for dinner tomorrow. I heard this one person suggest once that they couldn't make pancakes because they didn't have bacon. And ever since I heard that, I'm like, do you have to cook bacon to have pancakes? And so I started trying that. And the pancakes do come out a lot better if you cook them in like the same pan you've been frying bacon in. You just leave the bacon grease in there and let it soak in, it tastes better. You know Huckleberry from the Strawberry Shortcake uh, cartoon? Oh, what's going on? Uh, I think think I recall this. Come on, hang on there. Nine? I thought I did pretty good. Took me a while. Oh, well, never mind. I got the auto cook. Apparently, I did great. Never thought Huckleberry would be a fruit. You know Huckleberry from Huckleberry Finn, right? 
Huckleberry Finn knew what they were. His dad loved him so much he named his son that. I actually never read Huckleberry Finn. I can't imagine his name is actually Huckleberry, but... I, I remember Huckleberry Hounds. An old bar... Uh, Hanna Barbera cartoon. Way, way back in the day. I think they had like Grape Ape too. All sorts of nonsensical things. Never actually read Huckleberry Finn either. I feel like you don't need to anymore. Like it's been parodied enough. Serious business. Bam. Wasn't perfect, but did nail it. Like, that was kind of hard. <laughs> the Elsa thing. I did the Elsa thing. You mean to read all those old stories from people like Mark Twain and Ernest Hemingway? See, what I do... Whenever there's a book I, I wish I read, but I know I don't have enough time... I, I look up the Thug Notes edition... Uh, with Dr. Sparky Sweets, PhD. Like, he just gives such a good explanation. Like, it's just my preferred way to, like, hear... hear the Cliff Notes version of a book. And if he hasn't covered that book, what I do... is I go to ChatGPT and I say, Hey, give me a literary analysis of this book in the style of Sparky Sweets. And then I... and then I get that. But if you haven't seen Thug Notes, I do highly recommend you check it out. But like, I'm never gonna read The Great Gatsby. But now I know everything it's about. Thug Notes sounds familiar. Like, I think it's a little old. I don't know if he still does them. He may have gone to, like, more popular readings. Maybe he didn't get enough, like, traffic on his videos, but they were always really good. Like, I'm trying to think if there's a good one. Like, right off the bat. Like, I think the Ender's Game one was really good. Uh, ch 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 Withering Heights? Withering? I don't know what Withering is. But, I do know Heights are involved. Alright, I'm running out of dishes to cook, and that's fine. Like, you get the same set of things over and over again. I'm just really curious if I turn a profit this time.
There was a book, uh, a classic book, that I read just for me, like, outside of class and everything. Like, it was never assigned reading for any reason. But someone with great taste recommended it to me. Uh, Candide by Voltaire. Like, it was hilarious. I I don't know how to... A, a good way to describe it. it. It's about, like... Like, four different perspectives, right? Like... Like, two people are always happy. And one of these people always has good things happen to him. And the other person always has bad things happen, happen to him, but they like still can't keep their positive attitude. And then on the flip side, you've got the person who terrible things happen to all the time. And, and they expect them to be terrible, so they're just fine with it. Or they expected it. Or the person who expects bad things to happen and then good things happen to him. It's been a while. Anyway, it's just kind of a funny read. You'll add it to your list. Sounds like something your wife would have in her library, right? Is your wife into classical literature too? I don't actually know what my wi wife's degrees are in. I believe she's got a a master's in archaeology and a master's in classic literature. I am talking about you, dear. Classics, Greek and Latin. Things written in Greeks and Latin. Like the actual, the actual Greek and Latin words written in Greek and Latin. My wife speaks like seven million different languages. She's brilliant. She's too smart for me. She. <laughs> Earlier today, we were talking, uh, we are like, coming up on an anniversary, and we were talking about, uh, you know, why we like each other. There's lots of good reasons. But at one point, she called me her intellectual equal, and I, I tried not to burst out laughing. I was like, no, no, no. Dear, you, you're better than me. I, I concede the point. My wife is a very smart woman. I mean, like, I pride myself on na not making a bunch of terrible decisions. But I say that, and I'm out here trying to play video games for a living. Like, I know what I'm doing, and I know it's stupid. But I'm loving it. Like, if I was just a little bit smarter, I'd probably have some kind of better way to quit my day job. But this is what I've come up with. And it's going really well. Like, surprisingly well. <laughs> like... E every day I kinda go like, you know what? This is still just crazy enough to work. It'll take eight years. 
and I will look exactly like my avatar by the time it's over. But like, I think this can work. It's actually partially why I chose my avatar. I'm like, by the time I pull this off, this is what I'm going to look like. Okay. Everybody get out. Remember to click the closing button early. I still won't be able to get these guys out before like 1 a.m. I think my wife, you think your wife doesn't give herself enough credit. She always says you're the smarter one, but you're not sure you are. Right? I mean, me and my wife do just have different specialities. Like, my wife is just kind of better uh, read, more culturally uh, educated. Like, I grew up in a cave with an abacus. Like, I can do the maths. That's about it. But I do the maths very well. Wife does not do the maths. She does the reading and the comprehending. People staying way past closed is like the epitome of food services. Yeah. Like this guy with the pizza here, he's like, you know what would go good with this pizza? All you can eat breakfast. Sir, eat your sandwich. Really tasty. Do you see me bleeding out behind you? I need to get home, sir. I'm literally dying. Okay, good. The creepy breathing got him. Now over here. Enjoying your cupcake? Where are you going? Okay, she's gone. Wow, hey, I made money. I mean, I was open all day. Wages. $26,000 in wages. But my food revenue and gratuity is pretty good. Wait time still negative 30. I think I need more tables. Oh, I'm bleeding out. Gotta go. Wife and I are in the same boat. You're envious of her ability to analyze literature, right? My wife will do things like read a book for fun. I'm like, that would cut into my video game time. Luckily, video games have lots of words in it, so I'm basically a scholar. Haha, <laughs> wages are so expensive, right? I mean, fair wages. I mean, in real life, you'd be paid the same regardless of skill, and so all these chumps would be making, like, $10 an hour instead of the $100 an hour I'm paying them. Now that I'm bitter. Alright. We need more tablets. Don't worry, that's all coming back. Uh, tch -tch. This is probably gonna bite me in the ass, but we're doing it. Uh, 
how do I rotate? Right click. I was like, it says somewhere. There we go. Oh my god. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Let's get the hedge maze back in here. Because it is my favorite. Whoops. Tell me there's not enough room for all my plants. I'll make them fit. There we go. It's ridiculous. Okay. So I've got the sugar cane juice. The sugar cane, do you ferment sugar cane? Is that what you do? I think I do. Steam rice. Will that just make rice? Like, I'm just cooking dinner. Let's see what happens. Oof. You need more decor points? What? I mean, it yelled at me for decor, but I think it's all the brewing equipment I have. Let's juice this honey. That's a thing. Alright. Do I have anything to ferment? I do not. Whew. You enjoy reading, but she always sees the deeper themes. It took a lot of after high school to want to read anything again because of being forced to analyze themes and just not getting it. Yeah. More tables make more uh, traffic and dishes. Yeah, but I think when customers come in, they like wait for a table and they get mad because they're waiting for a table. Like, I know I'm going to get a lot more work to do, but I think happiness due to wait time is going to go better. All right, here we go. Honey coffee, because why not? Just honey. Only honey. Everyone drink a bunch of caffeinated honey. Because, right? They're just going to work. You're, you're bees. That's what you are to me, people. You're bees. And this is my hive. Bzz, 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 bzz. No raspberries. Uh, we can get the squid in there? What did I need to go with the squid? Ginger. Shoot, maybe I go grocery shopping. Got the money. Uh, hey! Hi, hi, HVV. 
How are you doing? Long time no see. It's good to see you. Don't forget the coffee for my staff. Got the coffee. Have I heard of Jack's Hollow? It it rings a bell. I don't know. There's it 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 sounds like it's gonna be like kind of a a farming sim type deal. Oh, it's Saturday. Nobody's open. What was I going out to buy anyway? Ginger? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy ginger. I'm going to try. What you got? Uh, you got nothing. You got chocolate and cheese and cream. And you know what? I'll take the sunscreen. But Jack's Hollow, uh, it, it sounds like it would be kind of like a, a spooky island, kind of like Cozy Game, it, like this. This is what I'm picturing, but with kind of like a, a spooky mystery theme to it. Speaking of which, there's a game that came out recently. Uh, I believe it's called Bloomtown or Gloomtown. I think it's Bloomtown. And it's kind of like Persona. But in like a little pixel town like this. And it looks pretty cool. If you're looking for like a cozy pixelated JRPG, it could be a great time. Uh oh, right. I am very low on ingredients. What am I doing with sugar cane juice? What am I doing with anything ever? What am I doing with my life? I got room for ingredients. Um, I think I use wheat and stuff uh, and cocoa beans. There we go. We get the mead and the cider out, out here. 